The National Anti-Terrorism Day is celebrated every year in India on May 21 to spread the message of global peace and non-violence. By celebrating Anti-Terrorism Day, India wants to show the global community that it is promoting peace, harmony and brotherhood. But the reality is entirely different and opposite to it. India owns a wide range of terrorist groups. Terrorism exists in India in many shapes including terrorism against Islam, separatist terrorism, terrorism against minorities, terrorism against women and right-wing terrorism. India is the most popular in the world for having every kind of terrorism. Since the partition of subcontinent in 1947, India is messy hasty and clumsily improvised and has become a terror zone for the minority communities. Everybody gave sacrifices for their independent homeland, but unfortunately in reward they got the slavery of brutal Indian rulers. Across the Indian subcontinent, communities that had coexisted for almost a millennium got attacked in a terrifying outbreak of sectarian violence and the era of common genocide began. One million Indian soldiers have made the occupied Kashmir the largest prison in the world. Aside from the dreadful violence being perpetrated against thousands of Kashmiris, there is an acute shortage of food and medicines. Muslims, Sikhs, Christians and other minority communities face continuous intimidation, illegal detention, persecution, fake encounters, and enforced disappearances. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, people are living a life in grave danger. Women are being abducted, tortured, molested, and raped. Since 1949, brutalities and atrocities by Indian rulers took a hike. Properties of Muslims have been illegally and forcibly took over by Indian source forces. Their houses and structures have destroyed, the holy places of Muslims and Christians demolished and sealed. The special status of Kashmir was protected by Article 370 of the Indian Constitution. On August 5, 2019, Modi revoked Article 370 and made Kashmir a part of India. It is critically important to let the world know about the unspeakable atrocities being committed in Kashmir by the RSS-supported government of Narendra Modi. This extremely dangerous situation calls for the immediate attention of the global community to arbitrate in the matter.